uh, Ken so well for so many years was the, the five's generosity in, in sharing their story and also um, a, a kind of command of what had happened to them, a, a sort of deep understanding of how they went from uh, having a night in the park to hours later confessing to this crime that they didn't witness and didn't participate in at all. And it, it gave us uh, a, a sort of level of comfort in saying, well, let's get out of the way and and we'll, um, we'll let them carry it. And we had been hopeful that we would have police and prosecutors as well. Um, they decided not to participate uh, and instead the holes are filled in by a, a wonderful cast of other people who have a familiarity with the um, with the case, but um, it's really the strength of the five and their understanding of their own stories that permitted us to begin a different kind of approach to this, this story. And and can you say in any way, you know, to the three of you that going through this process, I mean, they, these these are wounds that can never be healed completely. But do you feel like telling your story in this way, in such an intimate documentary, and, and in this form, that first person allowed you to? Um, to have some catharsis, to feel somewhat healed? Well, you know, we always say that this is, this is a, a tremendous healing process, to be able to come in front of folks after um, seeing it with you all, experiencing it all over again with you all. It's a healing process, and it's an indelible scar, of course, that's not going to uh, go away. But to be received this way, you know, for the public to be able to be um, embracing, to be outraged also, you know, I mean, that's tremendous. Well, I want to open up.